Hello, in this jQuery video, I'm going to show you the hover event. Hover event is essentially just a combination of the mouse enter and the mouse leave event into one sort of, you know, code block. If you don't know how to do mouse enter or mouse leave or you're just, you know, unsure about it, I recommend taking a look at those videos and then coming back. Okay, so what we're going to do is essentially replace this with a hover event for div again you can use whatever fancy selector you want that is the same it's this little part that does the magic afterwards so i'll leave it here for now and i'll comment it out afterwards actually i can get rid of this we don't need this i'll even go step forward and get rid of the span as well from there okay so this is what it does when you hover over it it changes the color and it changes it back again simple example but the principle is the same you can execute any javascript or jquery code code between these parentheses right here so to do this you have a selector as you normally would so whatever you want to select dot div instead of dot mouse center or dot mouse leave it's just hover not mouse hover it's just hover and you open bracket for function so so far it's looking pretty similar for the most part it is and I won't put the semicolon, actually I'll put the semicolon. I'll put semicolon. And here is where you put the actual mouse enter code. So if I copy that, and we'll have this. And what I'm gonna do is actually change this to yellow. So just something slightly different, just so you can see that when we comment this out, clearly the new code has been run and to actually add the equivalent mouse leave what you do is before this bracket and after these curly braces you put a comma then you put function so it basically has two functions that's what the hover method takes two functions and the two functions is the first one is the mouse center, second one is the mouse leave, and these could just be functions that are called directly. Another function could be called within here. You can do whatever you want. And now we just need to put the curly braces. Here is where you put the mouse leave code. And I'll grab hold of this. And now I'll comment this out. Save that. Reload. See what we get. Okay, as you can see, it works essentially the same way. Obviously, yellow probably isn't the best color, but you can still see that the color is changing. So that's the hover event. It's just a combination of the mouse enter, mouse leave. What are we thinking? Why would you just not use the mouse hover all the time? Because, you know, technically it's less code because you don't have to do a selector all the time. Main reason is you might actually only want a mouse enter or you might want it in a different location, you know, and you know, there are a few other reasons. So obviously depending on your scenario, if it's something simple like this and you definitely know you want both, then I will say just use the hover. So that's it for this video. This just covered the hover event. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.